In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to run Playwright automation test on the branded browsers such as uh, Chrome browser, Microsoft Edge browser. So let's navigate to the VS Code and let's understand how to run the Playwright automation test in the different browsers. So this is a test explorer. From here also you can run the your automation test in the different browsers. So if you look at the test explorer, beside that there is the configuration. You can click on that arrow icon. Say for example, I want to run my automation test on the WebKit browser. So simply we need to select this particular WebKit. So it will start executing the all the Playwright automation test on the WebKit browser. So if you look at the result, so our tests are working fine, right? So this is a one way guys. Now I will go back to the Explorer. And the second way is you can open the playwright.config.js file. And here, so you need to comment the line number from line number 37 to the line number 50. That's it guys. Now we will execute the all our Playwright automation test in the Edge browser firstly. So if you look at the line number 63, from 63 to 66, you can uncomment the line. That's it. So I will go back to the our tests folder. Inside the tests, we have the example.spec file. So currently we are having the only two tests. So let's try to run the one by one these two tests. So simply I will click on this icon. It will start executing the automation test on the Edge browser. So later we will see how to execute the Playwright automation test on the Chrome browser also. So if you look at this one, so it has opened the Edge browser and also it has executed our test. So let's run the second test also. And if you look at this test results, so previously it has executed the automation test on the Microsoft Edge browser. So let's trigger the second test also. So because of some reasons, so that was disabled. So that's the reason previously it was not executed. So our test second is running and also you can see the test res results also. Sorry guys. And it is executed on the Microsoft Edge browser. Now I will go back to the test explorer. From here also, we can run the all the tests. So here I'm going to trigger the our spec file for the test execution. So it should execute all our Playwright automation test on the Edge browser. You see here? So it is able to execute the all our automation test on the Microsoft Edge browser. So it's in the similar way, we can go back to the Explorer and also we can modify the code in the configurations. So, so far we have executed Playwright automation code on the Microsoft Edge browser. In a similar way, we can execute the Playwright automation test on the Google Chrome, Bro Google Chrome browser also. So here I'm uncommenting the line number 67 to the 70 line number. That's it guys. So you can see the name as Google Chrome and that is the desktop Chrome. So now I will go back to the example.spec file. To load the configuration, it will take few seconds. And if I execute the very first test and it should run on the Chrome browser. And if you see this particular browser also, so it is started executing the test on the Chrome browser. And also here you can see the test results. So you can run your both the tests from the Explorer. So it has loaded the configurations. Now I will execute the spec file, which has the two automation test. So right now it is running the first test and then executing the second test also. And also you can look at the results also. 
So our two tests are getting executed on the Google Chrome browser. So this is how you can execute the Playwright automation test on the branded browsers like Edge browser and Google Chrome browser.